Now let's say that four projects come in. Okay, so we're examining four different projects at once, a string of four different projects. What's the probability that all are medium risk? Okay, so we have four projects, all are medium risk. So we have the first project is medium, and the second project is medium, and the third is medium, and the fourth is medium. Okay, so this is an intersection of four different events. It's a sequence of events, and all of those things have to occur. We have to witness those four projects in this particular way. All of them are medium. Okay, so what's this probability? Well, we said that the uh, projects are independent of each other. That is, seeing a medium risk project does not influence whether the next project is medium risk, and so on. Okay, so all of these are uh, independent of each other. Therefore, we can rewrite this as the probability of a medium project in the first one, same in the second, same in the third, and same in the fourth. Okay? Well, we know what the probability of a medium risk project is. That's just 0 0.2. That's 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.2, which is 0.2 to the fourth. Okay? We work that out, and that is 0 0.0016. So the probability that we have four projects in a row and all four of them are medium risk, 0 0.0016, okay? That's a pretty low probability, right? Given that the probability of one uh, particular project is medium risk, is 0.2, having four together, that probability gets much, much smaller, okay? That's the nature of, of uh, intersections, okay? We have, whenever we have an intersection, we are specifying that these four things in a row have to be these very spe specific things. And each one of them has a probability, okay, that's less than one. Whenever you multiply those things together, you get a number that keeps getting lesser and lesser and lesser than one, okay? And this should make some intuitive sense, right? Uh, there, there are four different things that could occur, and we're being very, very specific about each one of those four things. And every time we're more and more specific, this probability gets less. What's the probability that I wear a blue shirt on a Tuesday and eat a sandwich and watch a movie in the afternoon while it's raining? I'm specifying all these very specific things. Each one of them has a likelihood of occurrence. Therefore, the, the likelihood that all, all of those things happen, the likelihood gets very, very small.